Hello and welcome to a new tutorial, because in the last months I focused more on creating photo manipulations, I had a lot of requests from my followers in making a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to create photo manipulations. I just want to say that even if I use Photoshop for more than 15 years, I'm still learning and I love to share my knowledge, because in this way I force myself to learn more and more each day. I do not consider myself an expert, this is just my hobby, but because I teach other things for more than 23 years, I just love to share my experience. Today is the first episode of this step-by-step -step tutorial about photo manipulation. Because I offer my knowledge for free, any comment, share, like or subscribe to this video is most welcome. The first step in creating a photo manipulation is creating a new document. So click on file, then new. And my normal settings for the Instagram posts, let's say that you want to post on Instagram 3200 by 4000 and the resolution I keep it 150. Normally if you post only on Instagram you can keep this one around 72 because a higher resolution is required if you want to print your work. If you decide to print your work a higher resolution than 72 is required. So 300 is perfect if you want to print your work but Normally it's really hard to find high resolution pictures. So I suggest you to keep this resolution on around 150 and you can create your new document now. After you created a new document, you must build your idea of what you are going to create. There are two different ways that you can take. First is getting your inspiration from other designs or other artists and to if you already have your own original idea is to draw it like a sketch on the screen or on a piece of paper. Let's talk about the first idea. Where do you get your inspiration from? One of the best websites that you can get inspired from is of course Instagram. So if you already have an account on Instagram you know how this works. So you can uh, browse on other artists uh, pages or you can go to future page and look for other artist designs. So for example, most of the time I use Magnificent Designs to get inspired. This is a really, really interesting page. So you can browse and look for what other people have done and you can create something similar or change their ideas. This is a way of uh, doing it. Another website that you can get inspired from is Pinterest. Here you can uh, search, let's say, cyberpunk design and you can get a lot of ideas from other artists. You can search for fantasy art, for example, if you want to get inspired in that direction. Of course, you can find here thousands of designs from other artists. The third website that uh, I'm showing you today for getting inspiration is ArtStation. For me, this is the best to get inspired from because here you will see a lot of good artists. So of course you can do the same thing, search for fantasy art or any type of uh, art that you want and you will see there are a lot of uh, fresh designs and beautiful artworks. So if you already know what you're gonna do, this will be much faster and much better in my opinion because you will be original and you'll have your own photo manipulation that nobody else has it. So you can uh, take the brush tool for example, press the letter B, create a new layer, press this plus icon here on the bottom where it says create new layer and you can increase the flow to 100% if it is not already set to 100% right click on the screen and decrease the size to around 23 or 20 percent or even bigger depending on what you want to draw let's say 40 pixels then take this uh, brush which is a hard brush all right and you can change the color by clicking on this icon on the left and you can pick let's say a red color and if you already have your idea, you can sketch it, doesn't matter if it looks really bad, because you will make it better on the go. So you can draw a line, and let's say you can build 
something like a house, alright, and you can build some mountains in the back, the sun, I know it looks like my baby girl drew it, but it really doesn't matter, you can place like a person here on the bottom and this is your idea, you want to build this from the scratch, or you can, you know, draw a car somewhere around here and then you can place a car as you go. Alright, let's hide this layer by clicking on this eye icon. And now let's get back to the third step of today's tutorial. So when you decide to do a photo manipulation, having the right pictures and the high resolution pictures is really important. I have a few websites to show you and we are going to start today with uh, freepic.com that offers a lot of free images that you can use in your photo manipulations but you have to link to this website the files that you are using. So be sure that you search for the right uh, picture, let's say cabin and be sure that on the top you select free and photos and then you can search again and all those pictures are free to use and then you can click on the download button and you can save this file on your computer. The next website for free images is unsplash.com which has one of the best picture database in the internet. Of course here you can search for any images that you want and this website has a lot to offer. When you find the right picture just click on it and then download it for free. You can choose between large, medium, small but I always prefer the larger resolution which normally is the original size. The next website for free images is pexels.com. Here you can search the way you search on the other websites and of course you can download any image that you want for free. Be sure that always you download the higher resolution size for that picture. The last website for free images is pixabay.com. All the websites have a lot of different images so if you don't find an image on a certain website you can search for it to the other websites that's why it's better to have three or four websites not just one so when you find the right image that just click on it and then free download and always use the highest resolution another way in searching pictures for your photo manipulation is using the png website just search on your Google account that pull PNG for example and it will show you a lot of PNG files with that Deadpool character. You just click on one of them that you like and then just go and download that picture. You can search for Spider-Man PNG and of course you will have a lot of results and if you click on any of them you can go to that PNG website and click on the download and here it is your PNG already selected file. And my favorite from all the websites in searching for uh, stock images is DeviantArt. This is one of the best that there is in finding the right stock images and one of the best artists or users from DeviantArt is this Duzulek which has around 6000 deviations which are stock images. This guy is just insane in posting a lot of free pictures for us to use. So if you go let's say for trees you will find here already cut PNG trees that are insanely good for our photo manipulation. Of course it has others like sun flares like things that you normally buy with money let's say but here you can get them for free so just search for him it has like a lot of good images for us to use in our photo manipulations this is one of the best please note him is Duzulek on DeviantArt of course there are like hundreds and thousands of them but this one is one of the best it has one of the uh, most complete galleries that I ever see on a website so if you want let's say uh, sparks overlays you can find them here he has a lot of them and other things that you normally find on Shutterstock or other paid uh, websites 
I really recommend him, he has a lot of things to offer, normally those things cost money but he offers them for free, so don't forget to check his gallery on the DeviantArt website. If you want to invest money in your photo manipulations, one of the best websites to buy images at higher resolution than the free ones is Shutterstock.com. Here you can find anything that you think about. This website is huge and it offers a lot of high quality images. You can find here anything that you can think of. Another good website if you want to invest money and buy some images is depositphotos.com. Here you can find a lot of images that they are on Shutterstock also but others that are only posted here. So you can give this website a try. The last website for paid images is iStock Photo. You can find here anything that you want at high resolution. Now depends on you if you want to invest money in your photo manipulation or you can use the free photos from the free websites. So this was the first episode in our step-by-step -step tutorial on how to create photo manipulations. Because I really care about your opinions, please leave me a comment on this video and also press the like button and if you did not subscribe it yet to my channel, please consider it to subscribe it now. See you on the next episode.